Anyway, back to Horizon Forbidden West. Yes. Let's not talk about fucking Valhalla anymore. <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West, uh, I did a trailer analysis for it, so I'm interested. People probably know a bit of what I think about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your breakdown of what, when you saw that trailer. What were you thinking? What are you excited about? Um, what stands out to you? It looks like the perfect sequel. Like, um, I usually, like, usually when a game has a bit of a high hi- hiatus and comes back, it's almost like the art style changes a bit, usually for the worst. Like, so- some games just like to change their art style about, especially when going into a next generation, when they have the, you know, stronger hardware that can handle, st- like, sort of stuff like that. But going back, like, watching that trailer, it just looks like Horizon Zero Dawn. 100%, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just Great 10 point. I didn't million even think times about more that. beautiful. Yeah, it's, it they've done a superb like job. So familiar. It just looks like Horizon Zero Dawn, but way better, way more detailed. But yeah. it's the same. Like, the robots as well. Like, yeah. the art style of the robots. Like, obviously, they've got the elephant or whatever and the pterodactyl-looking thing and the big mm. turtle. And, like, they look like they could have been in the first game. Yeah, they've exa- done yeah, such a sure. good job of implementing for them. sure for sure and i haven't replayed horizon in a while so there were some of them like i mean they could have been the first game to the point of like wait is that a new one or is that an old one like <laughs> yeah. i couldn't even tell i couldn't even and tell. i think that's what they should strive for because if something then feels out of place like i, I assume they're going to be bringing back the old ones like watches and and like the horse i forgot yeah. their name just been a while since i've played it but i assume they're going to bring that back and add the new ones to it so it's good to see that the new ones don't stand out they don't, they're not jarring yeah 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 100 percent. the i, I said this because i rewatched uh like i didn't do a, a review but in like 2018 i made this video of like why horizon zero dawn is so special yeah and it was like a non-spoiler review love letter of the to the game yeah and i and i tweeted it out because i rewatched it myself to kind of give myself a reminder of like why did i love horizon so much Mm. and the thing that stood out to me that I said was uh, the main themes that I love about the game is the sense of mystery and discovery. That's Definitely. what Horizon Zero Dawn did so fucking well. And what I was worried about is that can you? you it's hard to replicate mystery and discovery because you learnt so much in Horizon Zero Dawn about the world. It's like, this is a totally new IP, totally new world. You don't, why, why is this tribal woman fighting robot dinosaurs? That's all I thought every time I saw a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's happening? And then... You play the game, you're like, holy fuck, you learn everything about this world. And it, also, you, Aloy doesn't know who she is as a person. That's a whole part of the story is this discovery of... Mystery and discovery of the world, mystery and discovery of Aloy the character. Like, mm. you've gone through all that. How do you replicate that in a sequel? And that's the hard part. That's the, it's, it's the part I'm most worried about, right? Is c- Can you do that again? Um, or at least, not do it again, but can you um, continue that as a th- major theme and do it in a new way uh, that still is exciting because you can't obviously continue with who is Ayla. We know who she is. Um, we know who that character is. We've learned a lot about this character. She's got to grow um, and f- obviously be her own person. I think that would be a good way to go with this story. And But it was, it was that was a part of obviously the first game as well. Yeah. But continuing to develop that going forward. But again, that's not really a mystery. That's just more of a continuation of who we know. Yeah. Um, but what the trailer showed to me was... The whole trailer was literally her traveling this forbidden oh, world area. So I'm like, you're spoke, literally... The, your themes of mystery and discovery were the main themes of this trailer too. Yeah. Like, all she was doing was traveling around a mysterious forbidden west and finding out stuff. And I'm like, holy shit, that's why Horizon's so good because you want to travel around these strange fucking places in this post-apocalyptic world and uncover mysteries. That's what's so cool about it. But you're also fighting fucking these giant fucking robot animals and um, fighting some old technology that's been left behind with a bow and arrow. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's fucking wild. Why does it work? I don't know, but it, it, it really just does. Did you feel just, that way when you watched that trailer? Like, did, did you get that sense of discovery and mystery? I did. Yeah, especially with, like, the underwater section and yeah, the bit sure. where she's riding it. And you see the 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 massive like uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. What's it called again? The, like the ones with all bridge? the arms. Now the, the the fucking the the robots with all the. All oh the right, arms. yeah, 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 yeah. I, know. I forgot what they're called, but yeah, when you because that's still a mystery. We don't know what they look like when they're yeah. in action. We don't know how much yes. havoc they can like wreak. Like totally true. They're scary. 
And we don't they, know uh, the yeah. Black Silence either as a character. Like, who is he? Like, what's his motives? Why does he want... Uh, what's the, what was the end of Hades? Why did he want to work with Hades? Mm. Like, it's there's so much stuff that we still haven't uncovered about individual characters. And I think Aloy knowing who she is, it means she's going to be a lot stronger. Um, and I, I can't wait to see the performance. Because the, I forgot who plays Aloy, but she, she was obviously great in the first game. And I can't wait to see, like... What what makes her tick in the second game, you know? Because obviously she's going to be a lot more stern, a lot more sure of herself this time around. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's oh man, I'm so, I love Aloy. I fucking so love Aloy. I. I'm so glad that that this is what they're sticking with. You know, they they know what they're doing. Uh, they know the story they want to tell, and they're not you know jumping around characters and places in this world. They're like, no, no, no. We started a story, and we're just going to keep this going. We've got something here. Yeah, this is how you special. make a sequel. This is how you make a fucking sequel, man. Yeah. So yeah. excited. It's it, and the the whole uh, region, you know, going to the west coast of America. Yeah. It, it's it's a it's a uh, great idea. It looks great. the The world looks beautiful. Like PS Five. Holy shit! Does this stuff look good, man? It's unreal. Like just stupid. The the. Because when you're watching the live stream, obviously it looks it's in 1080p, right? Because it's streaming. But when I went back and watched the trailer in 4K, it's like holy shit, jaw dropping stuff. Jaw dropping stuff. Like the man. PS5, it's it's something else. Like the, the especially the bit where she's walking along the desert section, like that looks so good. <sighs> I'm I'm thinking back to. Oh, yeah, that, well, yeah, because when you go to the desert section, it also has that shot where she's climbing the mountain. Yeah. And when she, like, hangs off, I'm like, holy shit. Like, they're showing all these different environments, all these different regions uh, that, that, you know, we're going to see. This map must be fucking massive. Like, holy shit. I hope it's not too big, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't expect it to be. It's not going to be fucking Odyssey. It's not going to no. be a fucking <laughs> abysmal embarrassment. But, you know, I, I felt like, I felt like Horizon Zero Dawn was big. Like that was it, a well, map. yeah, it was big. I think in the way that uh, to get to a different area of the map, there was one way you could go. Like you couldn't go around a mountain; you had to go through a certain valley or passage to get there. So it it felt bigger because you had to travel. Like, we, I, the great point, and that's partly why that that discovery was there when you're traveling around, because yeah. you really had to kind of walk through. You know, especially early on when you don't have control of the machines, you're fucking like wandering on foot, like, through these valleys to get to this next area, and it's like, you're looking around at this world, you're like, holy shit, this looks fucking crazy. Like, this whole place looks amazing. And then you, you also don't know, because there's all these different tribes in each region, like, I wonder what their... You start to realise, oh, well, like, I wonder what they live like. Like, what's their politics? What's their architecture look like? Like, how oh. advanced are they? So we're going to go in and we're not going to know. Like, we saw one sort of gr tribal group at the end of this, and they have control of these fucking war elephant mammoth things, and they don't look like fucking friendlies, so, you know, and it's called the Forbidden West, like, for a reason, as a part of the story, like, obviously people don't fucking go here, is it because of the machines, or is it because of this fucking tribe, who knows? Yeah, like, there ain't no sacred lands here, you know, Shit. it's all gonna be, like, just some dirty land filled with bandits, and, like, do you reckon we'll see, like, more stuff about the Osirum? That was one tribe that I thought was really interesting, like, civilization, the Osiram, with, like, their armor. Is that, and... Was that... Yeah, was that the one in, um... What's what's the DLC called? What the fuck was the expansion called? Uh, what, the... Um, f uh, Frozen Wilds? Frozen Wilds. Was that the Frozen Wilds one? I don't think so. The Osiram is... the You know the ones that were, like, brutish, Dude, with, like, the... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Sorry, the gotcha. brown armor I with really, the big I... metal on it. Once I build my PC, I'm gonna stream Horizon Zero Dawn because I need. A re I've only played it through the one time and Jesus. platinum it and played the DLC and stuff. But like, I need a really need to refresh my memory of like all the in the real like intricate details of things, like all the names yeah. of all the tribes and um, character little the smaller characters, the real specific moments. Especially, I want to go back as I play through again. I'm gonna spend time like reading through all the like um, uh, information logs and shit that you pick up. And that you go through because I really need. To, oh yeah. I want to get balls deep into this, so I'm gonna use yeah, this those really and stream interesting. to really delve into that stuff and, and learn more about this world, so I I can know what I'm talking about. Because at the moment, especially I was doing that video, I was scared. I was like, look, I I 
I know Horizon Zero Dawn very well, but also I forget a lot of the intricate details that I might need to know to be a source of information for these. Yeah. For this game, so. I need a replay for sure. Oh, How many I need to replay play? as well. Uh, I've played it like three or four times. Shit, man. Yeah, Shit. we did it on Horsey and Fox. I so you, you love it. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, like I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's in my top 10 favorite games of all time. I fucking love it. Yeah, it's one love of the it, best PS, PS4 exclusives out there. And it it took us completely by surprise. Like, before I played it, I didn't watch any trailers or anything. I got it on the, like, a few couple of days after it came out, and I instantly fell in love with it because I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is this game? If everyone's going crazy about it. Colin Moriarty's talking about it and, like, saying it's, like, up yeah. there with some of the best PS4 exclusives. When he uh, said that, I was I, I knew I had to get it. I was like, holy shit, yeah. this sounds amazing. I couldn't believe how much. Like, because I was already considering it just for, like, Sony could just keep nailing their games. Like, this looks interesting maybe it'll be good and then you hear colin rave about it and the way he reviewed it i was like i have to play this right now and yeah blown one of my favorite experiences that and god of war my two favorite experiences i'd say like i think you know red dead redemption 2 is yeah. a better game than horizon Zero dawn um and but like I expected Red Dead Redemption 2 to be what Red Dead Redemption 2 was. You know what I mean? I expected it to be the, the one of the best games of all time. Mm -hmm. Whereas God of War, I never played God of War, it fucking just completely blew me away. So I, like it, That to me is the best game I've ever played. But Horizon Zero Dawn came out the year before and I'm playing it and it just blew me away because I had no expectations for it. Yeah. There's, I didn't know anything about it. I had no expectations for it. I'd seen some trailers, and then I'm playing it, and every second you're just blown away by the world. I was blown away by the character of Aloy and her story. I wanted to be like, what? Like, I was so enthralled with the mystery of it all. I was so enthralled with the mystery of it all. It was just it, the most intriguing premise ever. I'd say the most intriguing game I played since Halo 1. Yeah, like, like with that that sense of mystery and like uncovering yeah. like a lost civilization, like. Well, I mean, it sort of reminded, it, it gave me that feeling of wonder that I got when I used to play like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and have the story sections where totally. like Desmond's running about in all like the totally. old. Totally. Like, it was like it was like Brotherhood when you're in yeah. the Colosseum and you're like finding out all this stuff. Or, right, and you have, oh, your heart's so literally racing. Good. You're like, what the yeah. fuck is about to happen? I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm so fucking intrigued. Yeah, right it's now. like, how is this story going to go further down the rabbit hole than it already yeah. is? 